Welcome back, guys. I am X, and today we're going to be talking about a series of shootings at multiple venues has led to the deaths of about 18 people and an expected 22 casualties as police are searching for a man named Robert Card. Person of interest is about 40 years old. He is Robert Card, a National Guardsman and weapons trainer. Lisbon police and state police are looking for this individual, who this individual reportedly was hearing voices the previous summer and had attempted to get mental health treatment. However, police did not confiscate his personal weapons or his access to the National Guard's armory or base. The locations of these shootings include a Walmart and a bowling alley and multiple other stores. The shooter had used a semi-automatic rifle. Now, a bunch of news outlets are going to style it as a assault-style weapon, as the Lisbon police described it as. However, this is not an assault weapon, since it is not fully automatic, and the fact is the term assault weapon is just a pejorative towards weapons the Democrats want to ban because, oh no, they look scary. They have a pistol grip and a collapsing stock. Oh my god, these must be so scary. When the more accurate term is semi-automatic rifle or modern sporting rifle. However, the media has come out in full force using the term assault weapon because that sells in the media. I find this very tragic. I find it tragic when politicians politicians come out and say, well, we gotta cash in on this tragedy because there aren't a lot of tragedies like this and we need to push our agenda. And I find that very sad when politicians stand on the graves of innocent people to push an agenda. Now, I live in Maine. I've lived in Maine for a number of years and I know the culture up here. We are a very strong culture of gun owners. We love hunting. We love sports shooting. And I believe personally this event will not shape the politics enough to consider an assault weapons ban because we know up here, due to open carry and concealed carry as a constitutional carry state, we are one of the lowest homicide rates in the country. And the fact is, over the history of the 10 years we've had concealed carry and open carry, one event like this has happened, and the numbers like this do not warrant an assault weapons ban or a ban on concealed or open carrying. Since the fact is, the law has saved thousands of people compared to the 22 people, though tragic it is, that died due to the fact that someone illegally used a gun. The point is, if somebody illegally uses a gun to commit a crime like murder, how should that fall on the millions of people who use guns responsibly and carry guns every single day? How should that be punished on them versus the criminal who ended so many people's lives? I really find it so curious how the Democrats and liberals want to punish people based on the actions of evil people. As a libertarian, I'm not going to pretend that the Republican are somehow going to protect Maine gun owners. I don't believe that for a second. We've seen things like the Mulford Act of the 1960s, which was a bill signed by Ronald Reagan and proposed by a Republican senator, that the Republicans and Democrats are more willing to come together to work on a bill if it suits their interests. So it's imperative as ever to write your senators and write your congressmen and say that, hey, this event is tragic and we do feel for the families. However, Maine is a strong gun culture and we're not going to get rid of that. In fact, we need to increase our gun culture to make sure everybody is safe, that people are allowed to carry in areas that they should be able to carry. Now, we have Democratic politicians in Maine calling for gun control with a governor who is Democratic, Janet Mills, and the fact is we need to keep up the pressure involved with trying to keep gun control from getting on the legislative floor in the first place. We have Republican politicians like Susan Collins who vote for gun control a number of the times, and we also have so-called independent Senator Angus King who supports gun control a lot, even though he claims that he's from a uh, culture of guns and safety, etc. But the fact of the matter is we really need to keep up the pressure involved in keeping Maine the way it is versus having Maine be turned into another Massachusetts or California or any of those other liberal hellholes. Maine already had a number of gun control laws, some very unconstitutional, that could have in theory prevented this guy from doing harm. However, the law is not what the criminal is concerned with. The criminal is concerned with causing as much damage as possible. And whether that's with a knife, a car, a truck, a bomb, the criminal does not care. The criminal will use any means necessary to commit his evil, heinous act.
folks. My heart goes out to the people in Lewiston, and I cannot imagine going through that sort of thing and losing a loved one like that. However, we should not give the politicians excuses to disarm the general public, because when they disarm the general public, that is just a road to tyranny and a road to abuse of power. The only way to stop mass shootings is to allow people to carry firearms in what reasonable places there are. People who have a reasonable mind should be able to carry firearms and protect their loved ones, co-workers, etc. how they see fit. There should not be laws preventing people from exercising their Second Amendment rights and preventing them from protecting the people they love. As a libertarian, I believe in the fundamental right of someone protecting themselves and others. And the fact is, the law did nothing yesterday to prevent the utter atrocity there was by Robert Card. And the fact is, the law ought to be modified to allow people to carry wherever so long as the property owner approves and they are able to protect their loved ones to the fullest capacity they can. I hope you guys liked the video. Thoughts and prayers to the people in Lewiston. As a main resident, I fully empathize with them and it is very tragic and hopefully reform can happen to the point where people are able to carry anywhere. Thank you guys and have a wonderful weekend.